So dad wants me to start taking correspondence classes, finish up my credits early so I can start college as soon as I'm out of prison. Well, it's not a bad idea. I mean, you should be learning other things than just, you know, self-defense. Yeah, well, books aren't going to keep me safe in here. Yeah, there's more to prison than learning how to defend yourself, Michael. I mean, being stuck in a place like this can make you dead inside. I don't want to see that happen to you. What well, if it already has? <sighs> Two years. It may seem like a long time, but it's not. You're going to have a life after this, I promise you. So that's that's what you got to focus on. When things get tough in here, you got to focus on what comes next. I'm a convicted killer, Jason. No college is going to want me. No matter how much money Dad throws at them. <laughs> I wouldn't even go anyways if I got in. The reason you go to college is to figure out what you want to do with your life. Well, I already know what I want to do. My place is with you and Dad in the business. You can, you can choose anything you, you want. Why, why would you choose that lifestyle It's the yourself? world I grew up in. It's the world I know. And with a murder conviction hanging over my head, that's all I'm good for. Are you really seriously willing to risk being sent back to this hellhole for the rest of your life? You sent Michael to prison so he would learn to respect the law. And see that no one, not even the great Sonny Corinthos, is above it. Your point? Sonny did everything he could to beat the system. Obstructing justice, tampering with evidence, conspiracy to cover it up. You suspend Michael's sentence. He'll see that it's okay to trust the system. He'll see that, that telling the truth, doing the right thing, no matter what the cost, pays off in the end. He knows the difference between right and wrong, good and bad. I mean, if the, if the point of all of this was to see justice served, wouldn't it be justice to, to give this kid a better chance at life instead of destroying him completely? Isn't that, isn't that the real lesson you wanted for him? If I did release Michael, there would need to be certain restrictions in place. Your Honor, whatever you want. I mean, electronic monitoring, daily therapy, whatever you want, I guarantee you it'll happen. When you mentioned the age of consent, I thought my dad was going to burst a blood vessel. Yeah, the last thing a father wants to hear from his little girl is talk about sex. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I overstepped any sort of boundaries. Why are you apologizing? I told you to play along and make it convincing. All right, but it's not right if it makes you uncomfortable. You've been through enough these past few months. I don't need to add to it. Looking my dad in the face and calling him on his crap felt really good. <sighs> like I was finally taking control of my life. Are you sure this is the way to do that? You saw the look on my dad's face. Are you honestly going to tell me it wasn't worth it? It's always nice to see Sonny squirm. So what's the problem? You heard your father, and I agree with him. You were much too young to be hanging out with me. But we're only pretending to be involved, remember? Yes. No feelings, no real contact. It pretty much eliminates any chance of getting hurt. But it puts you in the middle of me and Sonny, and that's a nasty, dangerous place to be, Christina. If the state of New York recognizes the fact that I'm mature enough to make my own decisions, shouldn't you? This was a one-time thing, okay? It can't happen again. Table for one. Uh, actually, I am not here to eat. Oh, well, understandable, because of the old menu. But the new menu is not so limited. There's new specials here. Uh, you can uh, get... Any... You know what? Maybe some other time. I've been summoned by Sonny. Oh, well. <sighs> Proceed with caution. Mr. Krenthos is in a worse mood than ever. Lucky me. So, uh, you're demanding to see you now? That you forgot the manners I know your You're mom raised. You're a boyfriend. You're screwing my daughter. 